Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Empowering Morning Conversations. And uh, continuing on the topic of resistance and the question that what will happen when you, what will you be able to create when you stop resisting? Okay. For those who have been paying attention to what they are doing every morning, for the whole day, you may realize that a lot of our energy and focus is going on only resisting things. And it's become so much a part of our auto mode that we don't even, you know, think that there is anything unusual going on. It just is the way it is, right? But what is it <coughs> ending up for you as a consequence? The consequence is you are blocking the flow of receiving into your life. So if you're resisting yourself, you will not be able to make use of yourself and your abilities and your strengths and your positive attributes because your attention will be only on those things in yourself which you are resisting. So you will not make use of that. If you're resisting someone who's there in your life, and there are so many people in your life that you may be resisting, that everything that those people may have to offer or anything and everything that you could get from them directly or indirectly, you will be blocking that. If you're resisting a situation, then whatever that situation is able to teach you or that situation able to contribute to you, you will not be able to receive it. So we are like people who are you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a river and dying of thirst. Yeah, water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. And who made that happen? So thank God we are allowing some flow to happen into our life, right? And believe me, ultimately the flow that you require is the flow of energy. So if you're blocking the flow of energy, from all the people around you and you're blocking the flow of energy from all the things around you. Because in every situation, there are people, there are things from where you could be either getting energy or not. Or you may be getting drained of energy. Have you ever realized that how much energy gets drained out in the act of resisting things? Yes, yes. So a lot of people then ask me, sir, okay, we are doing this. So what should we do now? So what we should do now is what we are going to start practicing now. So please close your eyes and take a long deep breath and take another long deep breath. let go and relax. Now I have, uh, you know, when you are breathing out, put your head down slowly. And as you're breathing in, put your head up. Very, very slowly. The more slowly you do it, the more relaxed you will feel. Now, put all your attention on your toes. Be fully and completely aware of your toes and all the sensations that are there in your toes right now.
And as you become aware of your toes, become aware of the contribution that your toes make to you. If you had no toes, can you imagine how you would be walking? So give some appreciation, some love, some gratitude to your toes. Allow yourself to feel gratitude. See, words are words, but every word is associated with a feeling. So feel the feeling of gratitude and love and appreciation for your toes. Now put all your attention on your feet, on the soles of your feet, all the many bones that are there in your feet, every part of your both feet, be aware. Be also aware that all your life, these feet have been carrying your weight for you. And a very important part of your legs. So let's become aware of the contribution that these feet have made and will continue to make to you. And as you do that, allow yourself to express your gratitude, love and appreciation for your feet. Take one more long deep breath, keep your eyes closed and put your attention on your ankles. This very, very important part of your body, just like any other part, but important, which helps you to walk with balance and ease. And those who have ever sprained an ankle or hurt it, you know what it feels like to walk without fully functioning ankles. So allow ourselves to feel love, appreciation, gratitude for this body part that's been serving us. Your lower legs, your calf muscles, your knees. When you get older, you realize the importance of these needs. Best to acknowledge them, appreciate them, love them, be grateful to them right now. Your thighs, your hips, your genitals. Your abdomen with so many different organs inside. Each and every organ contributing to you. The liver, the pancreas. <clears throat> the kidneys, the intestines, the stomach. Each and every one of these organs completely dedicated to serving you. And I don't have to tell you what they do, but let's give our love and appreciation for that. Our lungs, our heart. Tirelessly working for us to keep us alive. All a part of this home that we call the body your fingers, your hands, your wrists, 
so important. Your forearms, your elbows, your shoulders, even your armpits. your neck and your throat. How important it is, your throat with its voice box and vocal cords, your neck holding your head up. Your mouth, your lips, your tongue and your teeth. your lips, your nose, your eyes, your ears, your head with the brain inside. This physical body, a complete factory, self-sustaining thing. And like any machine, it needs to be taken care of when you appreciate, acknowledge and be in gratitude to it. <clears throat> now become aware of yourself as a personality. Become aware of your personality. And allow yourself to be grateful that you have this unique personality. That there is no person, no single person like you. Let's give some love, appreciation, gratitude for this uniqueness that we are. So even though we've spent a lot of time trying to be like somebody else, let's first acknowledge and appreciate and be grateful to who we are as a person, as a personality. Imagine that this unique personality was created for you to play your part in your journey in this life and be grateful that you've been given this role to play. Now let's give our attention to all those people who helped to make us this personality that we are. Starting with your parents who gave birth to you, who cared for you, who nurtured you, and who had a large, very large part in shaping you to be the personality that you are. Let's express our love, gratitude, appreciation to them. Our other relatives, uncles, aunts, whoever was there who influenced us, and that was their contribution to make you the unique personality that you are. To so many teachers who came into your life in the schools that you went to, in the colleges and the institutions you went to, And let's express our appreciation and gratitude to each and every one of them. And also please include the ones whom you did not like, because maybe they were the ones who gave you the maximum contribution, the maximum breakthroughs. Unless the crack, the, the mold is cracked, the new one cannot be made, right? So a lot of people came who were harsh and tough on you. 
and we let's be grateful for them also. Without them, you would not be the person who you are today. Let's be grateful for the life condition in which we go on into and the set of experiences that we received. Because even they had something to do with shaping and molding us to be who we are. And let's give our love and appreciation to them also. Let us put our attention on our immediate family now, <clears throat> your wife, your children. <clears throat> Let's become aware of their contribution to our life. Even though sometimes you may feel like you're a slave who has to look after them. But they are looking after you and they are such an important part of your life. So give thanks and gratitude to those wonderful people who are such an important part of your life. Now become aware of all the physical positions that you have made or received. Everything, including your house where you live, whether it's your own or rented, and all the things that you have that give you comfort, your cars or cars, everything in your home. All those people who are a part of your network of support within the house and outside the house, each and every person is a part of your network. And let's be grateful that we have so many people in our network, we are not living in isolation. We are not alone, these people are there in our life, so let's be gra grateful for them. Let us be grateful for the fact that we are alive, that we've always been cared for, be grateful for that. And let's not forget to thank Mother Nature for providing you with free air to breathe, unlimited water, all the other resources that you enjoy that you have access to electricity, piped water, <clears throat> and other amenities. So many people don't even have that. And be grateful for that too. Let's be grateful for all the opportunities that our life presents to us, whether we use them or we don't, but opportunities are always there for us. Let's be grateful for that. Let's be grateful that somebody cares to give you feedback or even criticism. Because if they didn't care, they wouldn't give you that. So be grateful that they, both, they are so much bothered that they want to tell you things. Now become aware of all those things and all those people whom you have resisted and are resisting. Right? Get them in your mind's eye and you say, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you and thank you so much. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, I honor you, I cherish you, I'm grateful to you, thank you. One more time, become aware of all those things and people that you're resisting and you say, I'm so sorry. 
प्लीज फॉरगिव मी थैंक यू आई एम ग्रेटफुल आई लव यू बिकॉज यू आर देयर इन माई लाइफ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग देयर आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू I celebrate our relationship. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I celebrate our relationship. I celebrate being alive. I celebrate the opportunity. of my life i celebrate the opportunity of my life i celebrate my life of ease and joy and glory All right guys ladies and gentlemen you can open your eyes now See, I can only say one thing to you at this point of time that you know when I did this exercise for the first time and every time i do this exercise i realize how wealthy i am you know how wealthy we all are you know how much we have you know we have so much just because you have so much it doesn't mean you can't aspire for more you certainly can if you choose that you can sure but let's not forget that we have everything and it's a wonderful life yes kasa so you know in the process uh, that you don't yeah as you said uh, we have we have our uh, things with us which is you know so abundant to us you know uh we are so blessed and we have so many things and another point of view i had is like you know at times uh, we get disappointed with people oh uh, you know uh, they are troubling us but even you know during this process what i felt is even them they are even they are helping us to you know uh to be a better version of ourselves and you know they uh, they are taking us closer to our dreams by not supporting us <laughs> or you know uh, creating some challenges so grateful to that also that that on perspective i wanted to share so thank you very nice thank you very much so what you missed you know uh, because you came late kasa we started the conversation by saying that we are resisting so many things in our life right and what hmm. will you create when you stop resisting but how to stop resisting this is what we were working on okay okay sir so you stop resisting when you start acknowledging appreciating and being in a state of gratitude hmm all the resistance will drop away yes sir yes sir right so that that's what we were doing so thank you very much for your sharing thank you all right anybody else wants to say something Yes, Priya. I'm grateful for having such an amazing parent. 
they keep pushing me all the time. Yeah. And Even you, if you had not been seeing them, you would have reached the sky and beyond that by now. Right? Yeah, with all your support, I'll be able to do that. And they are the reason I'm here. <laughs> Working on myself, being the better version of myself. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing that. All right, so if you don't have anything to say, I have something to say. And that is that what would be the appropriate expression of your gratitude? Hmm? Yes, um, Reddy Garu, good morning to you. Morning, sir. I feel a smile is a great expression, sir. Meaning? Accepting their uh, presence. Yeah. Being an allowance to their presence. Yeah. yeah. It is also acknowledging. Yeah. By actually acknowledging them would be an expression of your gratitude, right? Yes. By telling them, I care for you. I'm grateful to you. That's another way of expressing it. Thank you, Hazina ji. Please mute yourself. Okay, so I'll ask you again, everybody. Some people have given their comments on it. What would be an expression of your gratitude? Let me ask you specifically, what would be your expression of gratitude to your body? Yes, but Trivel? Sir, what comes to me is intentionally appreciating, verbally or mentally, intentionally appreciating this kind of expression. I can show gratitude to things that to me and to others. Start yes. with. You could do things for them also, no? Absolutely, sir. Like you can look after your body. A lot of people look after everything, they don't look after their feet. Right? Interesting thing is that whichever body part you're not looking after, it reminds you, okay, hello, I'm also here. Then you go to the doctor. <laughs> yes, Shanti ji. Sir, good morning and good morning everyone. Good morning. As, uh, I think it is protection, the protection which our body is giving us. Today you missed 10 minutes of a very, very important exercise. Yes, sir. I... Whatever you got, please watch the recording and do it again. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, Redigaru. I feel uh, listening to your body is the most appropriate expression of your gratitude to it. Yes. Yes, Neeti. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. So for me, uh, expressing my gratitude is uh, for a very long time, uh, it's been the same exercise. It is a moment of release of thanks and uh, prayer from the bottom of my heart. It's just something that releases from my body. And that is what satisfies me. Nothing else gives me a complete satisfaction. Very nice. Thank you very much. Yes, Priya. Priya, you wanted to say something, please. Yes, please. yes. It's it's making my body move, like in any way to let it work. Just a dance girl, boom off it or something. Exercise and yes. That could be one. What else is possible? When you are in a state of gratitude, what else is possible? Yes, very well. 
Sir, I don't know whether it is appropriate, but I want to refer one quote from one of the book recently I read. Uh, the book is called uh, Courage to be Disliked. They refer some of the earlier philosophy and also the same philosophy. Yes. They say one word. Sorry. I said they refer to certain things. They refer to certain things. Thank you, sir. They refer to certain things. Uh, one important thing which I would like to share with you all is live like dancing which is relevant to Priya said, the time is the expression of gratitude. They say, live like time sick, or life, take it celebration. <laughs> very nice. Awesome. Thank you very much. So think about your life. Okay. What would be the natural expression of your gratitude to your body, to the people in your life, to nature, what could it be? See, one thing is definitely going to start happening is if you live in a state of gratitude and appreciation that your resistances will drop away, right? And your attention will be free from resisting and then you can choose to put your attention where you desire. Okay, you can put it to experiencing things that you desire. You can put your attention to having things that you desire. Because no more are you going to be sitting there condemning, complaining, resisting. Right? You're appreciating being in gratitude. And the question that can come up is, okay, what is possible from this relationship? What is the contribution that they've been trying to make, which I've been not accepting? And if I did that, what contribution could I make to them? Maybe I never was able to recognize what is it that they desired. So many possibilities will start to open up. Yeah. So if anybody has any thoughts on that, we can, we'd love to listen to you. And if you don't have any more thoughts to share, just be with this feeling of gratitude that we have created and be with it throughout the day. And start to see what all starts showing up for you. Okay? By helping in their sorrows. Yes. And who is it speaking? I'm not able to make out, sir. Apollo Shet. All right. Very nice. Apollo Shet, have you joined us for the first time today? No, no, sir. I'm joining, but uh, I'm quite uh, irregular due to my sir, job, sir. Achha, achha. Very good. Thank you very much for being back with us. So, say that again, what you said earlier. Uh, we have to share in our, means uh, those are our uh, family member, our friends, our relatives, we have to help him in their sorrows. Means yes, it, it, anybody is in trouble or uh, he want uh, any kind of help, any hospitalization or uh, we can say as uh, words because sometimes our words can also helpful that I am being with you. Yes. The biggest support is moral support. Huh? Yes, sir. Very nice. Thank you very much, Apollo. Your name is Apollo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. What a Greek god name you've got. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Nice too. Yes. Sir. Right. Thank you. Yes, Radhigar. <clears throat> sir, uh, by protecting the nature, we express our gratitude to the nature, sir. That's right. Without spoiling it, uh, without disturbing it, making our life uh, environmentally friendly. We can protect the nature so. by honoring it. Yeah, by honoring it. That's a gratitude we can give. Yes, that's a very good expression of gratitude. Wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing that. Yes. Anybody else has anything else to contribute to this conversation? Otherwise, I'm going to invite Mr. Kamal Dupre and Vetrivel Shanmugam 
and uh, finally Kunan Shahidi to regale us with their shayari. Good morning, sir. Well, why don't you start first? And of course, we've got Kuldeep Ji. How can we forget him? His shayari also is exceptional. So he will be getting, uh, after Vetri well, Kuldeep Ji is going to say. Yes, Vetri, have you found it? Sir, after <laughs> Guldeep Ji. Okay, Guldeep Ji, go ahead. Uh, good morning, sir. After going through today's uh, EMC, I would like to say, to say dedicated to the God कि मैं शुक्रिया करूं तो कहां तक करूं मैं शुक्रिया करूं तो कहां तक करूं मैंने सर झुकाया कम और तेरे एहसान है बहुत ज्यादा मैं सब टू व्हाट मिनट आई कैन थैंक यू टू व्हाट एक्सटेंड कैन आई थैंक यू व्हाट एक्सटेंड कैन आई आई बो डाउन Little less, but your blessings are too many, too much. Wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing, Baba. Vetri, are you ready now? Yes, sir. Uh, today, a different thing comes, and it should be seen in a perspective of love. It goes this way, Tamil. Yam ulengol avar nenche the nenche to ulare avar. It says this way. They are, take one person and group of people. They are in my heart. My question is, am I in their heart? <laughs> Do I have their heart? Am I in, in their heart? Is that yes. what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. So, Nain sir, uh, before that, we will have Kamal Dubai. Kamal? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, sir. Uh, first of all, thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for uh, each and every session you take every day. So, uh, no, or Zoruri hai, kyuki, you know, uh, our life journey hai, usme itne, uh, itni easy nahi hai. So, jo bhi aapke jeevan mein hai, uska tanyamat kare aur chalte rahe. And that's the blessing we have. Or, uh, share hai ki, taane us shaks ke halat kabhi nahi badle. Kudane, उस शख्स के हालात कभी नहीं बदले ना हो जिसे ख्याल खुद के हालात बदलने का गॉड गॉड हैज नेवर टर्न हिज सिचुएशंस हु हैज नेवर डेयर टू टू चेंज देयर ओन सिचुएशन और सरकमस्टेंसेस ब्यूटीफुल Thank you, thank you, thank you. It looks like Kunen Sahib is not there anymore. He has left the call, so we miss him and we miss his shayari today. He had joined, but I don't know what happened to him. Anyway, the network issue, sir. Okay, okay, never mind. So, guys, wonderful. Have a wonderful day, basking in the glory of your life. Okay, because this state that you are in actually allows you to have a life of ease, joy, and glory. Right, for all my love, all my gratitude, all my appreciation, and thanks for you guys for being there in this call and being a part of our lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you.